All right, joining us on the line from Towson, we have uh, sophomore guard Alan B. Tran and senior guard Brian Fobbs. Gentlemen, how are we doing today? Uh, doing good. Doing good. How are you? Doing great, fellas. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, fellas, right now you have the largest winning streak in the conference at four games. I'll begin with you, Brian. What has been the key to the turnaround, you being kind of the senior leader for this club? Uh, I think the biggest thing is just us staying connected, um, us playing defense, uh, playing hard together. Uh, just working together as a team, and um, we have areas to get better in, and I think we'll get better at those. And, Alan, what was being said in the locker room when this team fell to 0-3? What was the message, you know, after that third loss, and, and what kind of – and what has been the message since that kind of keyed this four-game winning streak? Uh, we wanted to just keep at it, you know. We was, we was missing a lot of open shots. That's why we were really losing. But we wanted to really key in on defense now. So, we've been really locked in on defense. Brian, being one of the seniors on the team, uh, what type of responsibility do you have going into this year, uh, especially being at your last season? Uh, just trying to be a, a leader as best I can on and off the court. Um, I know as a senior, this is my last year. And, um, you know, it's, it's, I'm having fun and the team's having fun. So I, I guess, like, really just keeping us all connected, not uh, having any, you know, doubts in our minds or anything like that, just being positive and uh, just keep going moving forward. And, Alan, you kind of exploding on the scene this year as a sophomore, a really strong last couple of weeks for CA Player of the Week last week. Uh, what, is, what have you seen that has improved in your game, and, and how have you stepped up for this team? Uh, basically just picking my spots, getting to my spots, getting, making plays for my teams, They're just doing all the little things to help us win. Brian, what have you seen from Alan that's improved so much from his freshman year to sophomore season? Uh, him just making shots, being aggressive. Uh, we need him to be ultra-aggressive every single game for us to have a chance to win, um, along with Nakai as well, and, you know, just us playing all well together. And um, once we all play well together one game and that, keep adding on that, it's going to be scary. And, Alan, what have you learned from Brian over these last two years as him being one of the upperclassmen? Uh, when things go wrong, just keep shooting. <laughs> just, keep, just keep shooting. <laughs> 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 is that is that a true is that a true uh is that true there Brian do you tell him to keep shooting yeah that's what you got to do right keep shooting uh be keep being aggressive especially if you can score the ball uh like us two you know like, just keep shooting don't worry about it <laughs> <laughs> well Brian talk about the non-conference season a little bit you guys played some big name teams you went to Florida you went to the uh to play the Gators played them really tough went down the Charleston Classic played some big name teams down there such as Xavier uh, uh how has the the non-conference season gotten you guys ready for the the conference stretch here for well, the non-conference schedule, we played some pretty good teams, and like we people thought we were going to get blown out or like embarrassed, but like we actually were in those games, and I think that helped us gain a little bit of confidence, knowing that we could well, potentially play with the teams and beat them. So, um, you know, it just helped us in the long run. Alan, during this four-game winning streak, how much uh, has this team? How much fun has it been? You know, getting stacking these wins back to back to back the last couple of weeks. Uh, it's been real fun because we know we're a good team. We know what we're capable of. We know what we can get to. So we feel like this ain't nothing. This nothing, nothing, nothing we should be proud of. We should keep building on and on and on until March. And speaking of March, uh, Brian, you guys got to play in the new arena up in D.C. First of all, your first impressions there, and how much are you looking forward to getting back there in a couple months uh, for the conference tournament? Uh, I enjoyed that gym. Uh, that's a pretty nice gym. Uh, that's uh, the women's gym and. Uh, the Washington Mystics and uh, a G League, NBA G League team plays in there. So uh, it was a good gym, a great atmosphere. I can't wait to be back. And, Alan, as this team continues to improve throughout the year, what do you guys – where do you feel like this team could still get better at as you guys continue to stack some wins? Uh, I feel like just all the little stuff, like being in gaps, getting back on defense, talking, all the little stuff that's going to make us elite. So if we get better at that, I think we're going to be top two, number one team in the league, so – and, Brian, being your senior year, how would you like to see these last couple months play out for you uh, here at Towson and, and maybe even legacy that you could leave? Oh, well, obviously the goal is cutting down the nets, and that comes with us, us staying focused, no distractions, uh, staying connected, playing hard as, as a team. And um, we have to get, keep getting better. Uh, this four-game winning streak is uh, – we're not worried about that. We just want to keep winning games, take it a game at a time, and um, we'll see what we can get to. And it's, it's going to be fun. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, well, thank you for joining us today on the line. Uh, good luck this week, and we'll see you here in a couple months uh, up in D.C. for the men's basketball tournament. Thank you. Right, thank you so much.